Okay, so in this problem, we're told a grinding wheel 0.35 meters in diameter rotates at 2500 RPM. Calculate the angular velocity in radians per second, and then B, what are the linear speed and acceleration of a point on the edge of the grinding wheel? So let's go ahead and start with A. So for A, what we're going to be trying to find is the angular velocity in radians per second. So we're going to be solving for omega. And so let's look at what we're given. So we're given the diameter, which is 0.35 meters. And then we're also given an RPM. So what we're going to want to do is convert uh, revolutions per minute into uh, radians per second. That's going to give us our omega. So that's the first thing we have to do. So they give us the angular velocity in RPM, but we're converting it to radians per second. So we know this is revolutions per minute. So you can rewrite RPM like this. So revolutions for every single minute. And then we just have to convert. So how do we convert revolutions to radians? So you need to know one revolution is the same as two pi radians. So that's going to have it in radians. And then to convert minutes to seconds, that's just one minute. And then we know is equal to 60 seconds. So minutes will cancel. And then all we have to do is just perform this calculation. So we have 2,500 times two times pi divided by 60. So 261.7, so 261.8, or actually I'm just gonna say, yeah, 261.8, and then this is going to be radians per second. So we have omega or the angular velocity here for A. They just wanted us to convert into radians per second. So that's your answer to A. Now let's do B. So B, we're going to be solving for the linear speed and acceleration uh, of a point on the edge of the grinding wheel. So for this one, we're going to need two formulas. So for the velocity, the formula is V equals R omega. And then for the acceleration, it's R equals, or sorry, A sub C equals, which is the centripetal acceleration is equal to omega squared times r. So these are the two formulas that we're going to use in order to solve for what they're asking. So this is the linear speed, and then this is the acceleration uh, caused by rotation. So uh, r is obviously the radius, and they give us the diameter. So to convert that, we know uh, radius is just half the diameter. So 0.35 divided by 2. Let me just do it over here r equals 0.35 divided by 2, which is 0.175. And so units are meters. So to calculate the velocity, it's just 0.175 times omega. And you want to make sure it's in radians per second when you do this. And so 261.8. And so I'm going to use the exact value when I do this. You're going to get 45.81. Let me zoom out a bit. 45.81 and so notice that this is in uh, meters and this is in radians per second but radians are basically unitless so this is basically nothing so you just have meters per second and that's how you get the velocity so 45.81 yeah 45.81 and this is now meters per second so this is your velocity now let's do um, a sub c or the centripetal uh, so omega is 268.1, so it's just a matter of plugging in at this point, times r, so r is uh, 0.175. So yeah, and then so notice this one's meters, this is radians per second squared, so just like the same, uh, just like the last one, uh, the radians are unitless, so 0.175 times... Uh, 261.8 and then square it you're gonna get 11994.31 and so on so it's gonna be about one two three four so 1.2 times 10 to the four uh, meters per second squared so 1.2 times 10 to the four meters per second squared that's gonna be your acceleration uh, so this is your, these are your answers to B. So velocity, acceleration, and then this is your uh, omega in radians per second. So uh, yeah, so uh, these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.